Hi guys, what's up? How are we doing? Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna, I might pull from the cards a little bit, but there's kind of like an overall message that's coming to me um, from this. And all right, here's what's, here's what's coming to me. Okay, these are, regardless of doing the cards, it's collective and these, it's timeless. And just take what fit, <clears throat> if something resonates for you. And you'll kind of know because it'll, it, you'll just feel it or it will, it'll be something that you like. Um, it rings another bell in your mind that, that like correlates to something else. Um Okay, so this is what I'm seeing kind of just from watching other people, observing, like like finding other people that I relate to, going through what I've gone through. One eleven on the clock. Not that it's <laughs> not even a good boy, but that's okay. Um, is that um, it took a long time for me to like, um, and even still, it still is very, it still, it still is really weird sometimes for me to be like, you know, I grew up around toxic environments and stuff like that because there, there was so much of that, all of the behavior, all of it trying to be normalized. And then like the like emotional manipulation and things like that, that it's like, you know, and it, if you do develop CPTSD, like, you know, there will be, I don't, I think C stands for chronic. So I like, I mean, I believe that that's like the rest of your life that you have to kind of unravel that. So, um, but it's, um, it's not the type of thing that it's like, you're always having to move through, you know, emote the pain and stuff like that. It's definitely not that way, but I don't want to get sidetracked. Um, I think too, because along, I knew that I knew it, I knew it had bad relationships. Like there was no doubt about that. And I especially did, uh, well, I don't know. It's it, me anyway. I don't, it's not about comparison, but I know that I had, I had, I had taught, I had really intense and difficult relationships. Um, the, 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 as a, when I was younger, um, um, But I did avoid like un um unpacking that for a long time. I did and and but that's that's a red. I don't want to necessarily say it's a red flag, but that's a definitely an indicator that you have a harried past that you don't want to have to face. So that's part of this is that what I'm seeing is that there may have been something because I just saw another person prophet speaking on this. It's like there may have been some situation in your life in particular that was like has been holding on and um has been for like in my instance like it's been going on in the background but it's like it, it like there's been things going on in the shadows but also you've been dealing with it in the 3d and it may have been something that was like manipulative or just it caused all this confusion and this mental turmoil and this stress and what I, what i'm what i'm getting as a whole is that it's like, this is sort of the journey is what it seems like now is it's like, if you grew up with tough relationships, you know, and you had a tough, tough family life situation, um, in particular emotionally, because anyway, um, but if you, if you then choose to heal, in other words, you're choosing God, you're choosing your higher self, you're choosing this higher path and you start down that road, it's this crazy ride <laughs> because you have to just keep coming back to this place of realizing that you have you got to lean on God you got to lean on that because you just don't know what's going on in the shadows and I really wanted to emphasize that because that's the one thing that's the main thing that's coming to me from this is that it's like there's so much that's out of your hands I can't, we're not I'm not responsible for somebody else I can't you know much my, my child but like, I can't be responsible for other people and what they choose to do with their time. And if they struggle with addictions or whatever it is, it's like, especially again, if I'm not even, they're not even in my reality or in your reality. So that's all the more reason to keep trying to do your part and stay on, stay in your path and, and, and be integral and whatever, whatever your value system is, because 
we can't control, we can't force other people to see, you know, um, what you see or that you, you're choosing this other path or that you've changed or that you're not going to tolerate this, this, and this. Um, and it's this crazy, it's this crazy journey with that, with other people and stuff. So, um, I wanted, I just wanted to put that out there because it's like, the more that you can just, the, because it's very hard, it's very, it's very painful, it's very sad, it's very, very sad, and it's very, um, to me, in moments, you know, it's, depends on your perspective, if you don't want to take it too serious, and, and then it's not, but it's like, I, I feel like it is for anybody who has their heart open, anyone who considers, them, considers themselves a light worker, empath, star seed, any of those things, it's like, you care about people, and so it's like, it still is sad to watch, you know, and then have to deal with the, and, and two, what I wanted to say is that this came to me earlier too, that it's like, excuse me, it's like, you're just, okay. And this is hard. And that, and it's, 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 it's just, it's hard to, it's hard to like comprehend, but it's like, you are, this is so hard to say, you are just supply for some people. Like, and that's what's so, that's another, okay. <laughs> that's another, this is, this got really hairy. And I'm, I apologize, you guys. Um, it, cause I, it, it affects me too. It's just, and then, cause I can feel it on the collective level too, because it's just, it is sad, but it's like, that's, that's it all comes back to like loving, pouring that love into yourself and giving it to God and just, just letting it, letting it all go. Because it's like, you, you can't, um, hold that, hold that pain inside you forever. You can't like, I mean, it's up to you to, to forgive and, and let go. And, and you need to do that in your own time and all of that. But like, Cause it's, it's scary. It, it's scary to me to think that there's people that have been stalking me since I've had accounts on Facebook or since I've had an account. And like, I didn't, I didn't really, I wasn't very active on social media until my kid came into the world. And even then I didn't really get very active until, um, I started doing, um, getting really hardcore into fitness before I started personal training and I was doing progress picks and that kind of and then I started speaking truth in like 2020 and I was like showing up stories and I did like an MLM for a little while and I had to do stories. And so I got really, really active in, around 2020, um, on Instagram first. And then I started YouTube last year. So, um, but it, it, it is really scary sometimes to, to realize it's like, think these things could have been going on for a very long time. So it's like just coming back to whatever grounds you and just, and give gratitude and be like, I hope, you know, send what I mean, I like to send people love, but it's like, it is still so hard. It's so hard to talk about. Um, cause I still don't like to believe things, these things. Like, I don't like to believe that, you know, you're just a piece of like, I don't an object and somebody, I don't know. I don't know how, to, like, you're just but it's because the, if it's someone else is so disconnected and they don't, they're not aware that they have entity attachments. It's like, and so it's like, I can't fully put myself in those shoes because it's like, I've always been attracted to things like discipline. I've had obsessive behavior before, but it just wasn't like out of control. Like I've, I've always had some, I mean, I've had moments, I've had moments. I'm not, I'm, you know, that I, that I lost control, but like, Anyways, it's just dark entities need food to stay alive and they're getting that through humans, more other humans, and that they're getting that through the times that some sort of, some, there's some correlation with that in the emotions. I don't, that's where I haven't, I would, I would actually like to, cause I do think it's very interesting, but like, cause it's very parasitic in a way, but I don't fully understand. And even if you do understand, it'll just drive you crazy trying to, because you can't, there's just a lot, there's a lack of control over it. It's like, you just have to be able to let it go because you don't know, it, you know, who is watching in the shadows and who anyway. So 
there's an emphasis on that, that there's, there's people in the background who have been messing with you already that are angry at whatever they're like, they're not, they're not able to face reality right now. There's like a disillusionment going on. Um, And we've got this magician and the Hierophant out here. There's a need for you to rest, yeah. Or watch your help. Um, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to figure out how to liven it up some. Um, I'm just getting like anger, reckless energy, disillusionment. Um, there's a need for you to tap into your resourcefulness and the, you know, your rituals. Um, and this also, this, also, this card is also like your, your relationship with the divine and how like 11, 11, I said that, like how precious that is and how, um, I'm getting like, God wants you to know that. Yeah, I'm getting that he's proud of you and he's not going to forsake you. He's not going to leave you. And okay, I'm also getting that the, that the clarity and what's meant to, what you need to see is going to be shown, shown to you in the right time. That's the other thing that came. Thank you. That's the other thing that came to me is that it's like, that's all the more reason why, like when you, when you walk away from these relationships and you walk towards God and towards your, towards, you know, within and however you view that, that it's like, that there's so, there's an, just an outpour of gratitude every time something like this happens because you're like, there's just so much I can't see. There's so much I don't have control over. And there's nothing you can do about that. And that's okay. But that's also why it's such a blessing to be protected. I don't want to get all emotional in here. Um, <laughs> but, um, okay. I know that was not a super happy message. I'm definitely going to try to come on here again at some point. Or come on live. Um, I mean, I always just say send people love. Because I still do that regardless. It's like, even whatever has happened. It's like, um, that's that that's kind of what I'm getting. Is it's like, that's what, you know, and this is also about alchemy. And that you're the, you're the one that's choosing to break the cycles. And feel your feelings and all of that. And so it's like, that's what you're choosing for this life. And for your purpose. And... You just have to let the rest go because it's like you can't take everybody with you. And that's not your job. It's not what it's not expected of you. Um, so you're <laughs> that fabulous song came on again and walk on water is such a beautiful song. Go listen to it. And I do not know who it's a new song. It's a it's a new spill. It's only, it's only like five, ten years old or something. But um, um. That's like your purpose in this life is, oh, oh, I was going to say it's to be a demon slayer, but like, I was just going to see if anything else came to me about that. Um, The more that you can just find that, find that gratitude in that, and just for the fact that you have contentment and, and protection and, um, that you're not, you're not responsible for, for the rest. Um, especially if you know, you are sending people love because, and I remember that even being in a place where I was like, I wasn't really able to receive other people's love. It's like, you can't force any of these things. And so it's like, if it has to be this destructive situation because these people won't leave you alone, it's like, it's out of your hands, you know? Like, I wish earth wasn't like this all the time, but it's like, it is what it is. We, we got, we got Mars energy here. So we got to figure out how to work with it, you know? So, um... 
and you got to protect yourself. You know, you, you're, it's that, it's that oxygen scenario. It's like, I'm no good for anybody else. If I'm not, if I'm not healthy. So if I'm not, my boundaries aren't high, if I'm not protected. So, um, and you become more sensitive. So, okay. I'll stop blabbing. Um, I love you guys. I love you so much. It's going to be okay. Okay. All right. Bye.